there's a good one on the Sprout Papa Frog. Oh man, feels like a good fish. Oh my gosh, that is a giant. Oh. Spro popping frog. Really good fish. Oh my lord. Getting away in this fish. This is my first fish on a uh, frog, so I'm pretty excited about that. It's a big fish. Let's see. Four, 489. Almost a five pounder. On this first fish on a scroll popping frog, or on a frog at all. Mouth on this thing. God, it's a beast. Alright, letting this fish go. On the spro popping frog. About four and a half, almost five pounder. First fish on a frog. Thank you, baby. There she goes. There's a fish on the uh, Cooper's live target tilapia color. Oh, that's a very good one too. Oh my Oh, I think it's the same one I caught the other day on my frog. Man, I got this fish, five eleven. I think it's the same one as I caught the other day on the uh, popping frog. But I mean, it's still fun to catch. She's bleeding, so I need to let her go. Thank you for biting again. goes that's crazy I had a feeling I'd catch her again but I uh, got her on this I'm gonna eat it. Cooper's live target uh, is tilapia but it, it, it represents a sunfish or a bluegill pretty well yeah that's crazy there's one oh my gosh another big one this is not the same one either. This one's probably on. Oh, he's nailed that frog. This is probably like a booyah frog. Look at that. Yes. It's a nice fish. That's probably four, four or three or four pounds. I'm gonna get a weight on this thing and then I'm gonna let her go because she probably needs to get back to her bed. That's what I'm pretty sure she's doing. Look at that. Three, 341. Nice fish. Oh, she absolutely inhaled that frog, too. God, that was crazy. All right, letting her go. I caught her right in front of this little patch. Yeah, that's probably where her, somewhere in here is probably where her bed is. She just saw that frog and couldn't resist. Let her go. There she goes. Yes. So uh, this is a frog I was just using to catch that last fish. I think it's some kind of uh, maybe a booyah or a, um, I think it's a booyah frog. It's probably like a junior or something. It's a really small frog. I was going for a smaller presentation because I would get hits on the, uh, you know, the bigger frog, but uh, they wouldn't really commit to it and they wouldn't keep it in their mouths so uh, I went for I went got this little smaller frog I found this a while ago I just found it in my taco box and uh well I modified it a little bit and I just put I uh, bent the hooks out a little bit so they weren't snug to the uh to the bait or to the body of the frog and um I just bent them out and up a little bit I saw that on I think Fluke Master did it and uh I don't know his name but the guy from Tactical Basting did it too 
and um, it helped a lot. I did it on my on my uh, popping frog tube to get the uh, get the good hook set, and that's what caught me the five pounder. So hopefully, I can get some more on this frog, and uh, stay tuned. There's one. Oh, I just sight fished up with a frog. Oh my god. He hammered it. That's a big fish, too. Oh my god. That was crazy. That was crazy, guys. Oh my gosh. I saw him over here. And I and I saw him. I just cast it with the frog. And he nailed it. He just. Oh my gosh. That was crazy. He inhaled the frog too. Oh my god, that's a big fish too. Yes. Oh my god, this might be my new PB. Oh, my PB is seven pounds. I really hope this is more. Six. That's six forty-three. Good lord. Alright guys, can I get a release in this fish? Six pounder sight fished. Alright, going for the release. There she goes. Alright guys, that was crazy. I did not expect that at all. So you saw this probably, but I'm just gonna tell you like how crazy this is in my mind. Like I was just fishing over here, fishing on this side, cause I've caught fish here, but it's really shallow and I didn't think I would catch anything here. I mean, I was thinking about this spot, but over here just looks way more promising for frogging. Pretty much I turned around, I was about right there in the middle. I turned around from fishing over there and I just see this big fish cruising. I'm like, oh, no way. And so I cast it to it. I didn't think I was going to get it one bit. Like, I was, I was, like, not ready for that at all. And, like, I just twisted a couple times, and it grabbed it, and it turned around really quick, and I just grabbed it, and I was like, no way. I didn't even know that it was that big of a fish until I got it in my hand, and I'm, like, looking at it like, oh, my Lord. Like, this is a big fish. That's a, um, I was a five-pounder and a four-pounder and a six-pounder all in a week less than a week i am my mind is just blown like i caught or no i caught a i caught a five pounder on monday i caught it again two two or three days later and then the same day i caught a five pounder i caught like a three pounder and that was just right over there and oh my gosh that was just insane all right thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe peace Thank <laughs> you.